हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्केला ट्यूटोरियल्स एट लर्निंग जर्नल इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू गिव यू अ क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन टू एसबीटी आई विल आल्सो डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट एसबीटी इंस्टॉलेशन एंड कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑन अ लिनक्स मशीन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एसबीटी इज अ बिल्ड टूल फॉर स्केला प्रोजेक्ट्स यू कैन यूज इट फॉर जावा एज वेल इट सर्व द सेम पर्पज एज अपाचे मेवन but i find it too simple for small projects that's why the name sbt stands as a simple build tool i liked it most for a couple of reasons we need very little or no configuration for simple projects and it saves you from those complex xml syntax used in maven you don't need to install scala separately and you can start scala repel on your project Scala repel is a command line tool where you can execute Scala code line by line as an interactive command. There are many other features and we will explore the most relevant ones as we progress. The first thing is to install and configure SBT and explore some basic operations. Installing SBT is a two step process. Download and install JDK and then download and install sbt you can download jdk rpm from oracle technology network once you have the rpm you can install it using yum local install command verify your installation using java minus version command You should also set Java home environment variables. I prefer to place them in etc profile. good jdk installation is complete for sbt installation we follow the process defined in the documentation download the jar file and place it in the user local bin directory create the script as explained in the documentation and give it an execute permission Now you are ready to start SBT but before that let's create a workspace directory for all your SBT projects Let me create a project directory as well Change to the project directory My project folder is still empty but that's not a problem I can start SBT with an empty project Before you start SBT you should change your current directory to your project directory and it is a recommended practice because sbt considers your current directory as your base project directory and it sets the current project to the current directory okay just type sbt and hit the enter key for the first time it will take few minutes because it downloads necessary things to complete your installation it also compiles your current project but in our case we have nothing to compile good So it's over and we got the sbt command prompt. sbt installation is complete and we are now ready to use sbt as well as scala. Let's exit from the command prompt for now. We will explore sbt basics in next video. Thank you for watching learning journal. Please like, subscribe and share. Keep learning and keep growing.